Hello and welcome to another episode of Jimster 586's Lock Shop. Today we're going to do a DieselDoocy.com padlock demonstration. <laughs> you might be wondering, why is he calling this a DieselDoocy.com padlock demo, since he's not Diesel Doocy? Well, the reason is actually quite simple. Because the lock we have is one authentic U.S. letterbox lock from, I believe, the 1950s with authentic key. And this happens to have come from none other than Diesel Ducey. So here we have a DieselDoocy.com padlock demonstration. There's your lock with attached chain, which I decided to attach the key to so I wouldn't lose it. So I have lots of locks running around, as you may have figured by now. There's the back. There's the shackle. And that's where the key goes. Now if I aim this right, you might be able to see the levers inside there. Actually, let me turn it over. I'm trying to get the my overhead light to go in there. And let's see what happens when we use the key. Here's a, it's a typical lever lock. Let's see if I have this on the right side. I think I do. Oh, maybe, maybe I have this upside down. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. Lo and behold, it pushed the shackle open. Spits the key out a little bit. So let me try and hold this so you can kind of see what happens here. It's a push key. If you push in far enough, the, key will, the shackle opens. Ooh, let's not drop the lock. There we go. Push the lock back, back in and spits the key out, quite literally. Let me do it this way. I'm trying to watch the little monitor on my camera here. Not, sometimes not the easiest thing to do. Key is in. By closing it, it ejects the key back. It's all spring loaded. Come on. Open up. There we go. Give you a look down inside here. This is the latch, which meets up with the latch here. You can't see the key at all. Ooh, or can you? No, you can't. Okay. That was an idea. So let's swing that shut. It's now firmly locked. They no longer use these. The mail, uh, postal service no longer uses these. But the um, some office buildings do on their mail chutes. Older buildings will still use these locks. When I was go going down in uh, Roanoke to different buildings with these Leducey right in elevators, we saw a number of these. Uh, same in Lynchburg. If you've never had the chance to meet Diesel Ducey, you have to do it. He's incredible. He's a lot of fun. Knows this stuff. Just an absolute pleasure. That wasn't our only reason for going down to Virginia, but it certainly was the best reason. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Actually, I'd like to relocate and move down to Virginia. But I haven't decided whether that's going to happen or not. But I certainly would like to. But you have to meet Diesel Ducey. He's a lot of fun. He and his wife are just some of the nicest people. It was really a pleasure to be there. Of course, he's got some nice kitties, too. My wife made a friend, if you've not seen the video yet, it's on my channel. My wife making a friend with his uh, kitten, Cookie. Cookie ran right to her and said, Hi, I love you. <laughs> so, But make that a, definitely make that a highlight to, or a point to, to meet Diesel Ducey. You won't regret it. Now that we've opened this several times, giving you an idea how it works. Again, there's your latch there, which interacts with this. You push it down, it's all spring-loaded. There's the front. MV is the key. That's MV. There's your number on the back. There's one side of the key. Hands shaking a little bit. Here's the other side of the key. 
Alright, so I think we've covered the padlock. Something else, I have, I think I showed this a while back. I have my own train engine, who is not Diesel Ducey, of course. He didn't come from the Kroger store in St. Louis. He's not a real life train engine, really, really, truly. I've got my very own train engine, but his name's not Diesel Ducey. So I don't know what to name him, though. Because I mean, you know, if Diesel Ducey has a name, then I guess I have to name mine. So what should I name him? Well, I'm going to pose, pose that as a question to you that, that may watch this. And say, what do you think? I don't want to copy Diesel Ducey. But nonetheless, I think this guy would like a name. Wouldn't you? This is one that I've had since I was a little boy. Similar to Diesel Ducey and Andrew. So there's that. I even had the caboose to go with it. I didn't have any of the other cars. I do now. I've gotten them off of eBay, but I didn't then. So if you would, leave me a comment and tell me what do you think I should name my train engine. And I'll wait to hear from you. That's it, and enjoy.